Hello there. This video, we are going to talk about Maxtor Diamond Max plus IDE hard drive repair and data recovery. Maxtor Diamond Max plus IDE hard drive problems can be categorized into two. Problem one, hard drive PCB board damage. Problem two, hard drive disk assembly damage. Three methods to fix a hard drive PCB board. 1. Clean the contacts. 2. Repair the PCB board directly. 3. Swap the PCB board. Method 1. Clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. This picture shows the basic components and their functions on the PCB board. You may use this picture as a reference to fix the PCB board. The most vulnerable parts on the PCB board are power supply circuit and motor IC. Fixing hard drive PCB board method 3. PCB board swap. PCB board swapping including two steps. 1. Find the correct donor PCB board. 2. PCB board firmware transfer. PCB board swap step 1. Find the correct donor PCB board. Locate the compatible information from the hard drive label. Locate the CPU number. The CPU number is on the biggest square chip and the CPU number should start from 040. We may use the brand name, family name, model number, code number, and CPU number as a reference to search for the donor PCB board. The correct donor board is found. All we have to do is just swap the PCB board. For this model hard drive, there is no BIOS transfer is needed. This picture shows how to swap the PCB board. Use Torx 7 screwdriver to remove the bad PCB board from the hard drive, then put the new donor PCB board on the hard drive, then use the uh, screws to secure the PCB board onto the hard drive. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB board BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware, we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of these kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? 
please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. If the hard drive disk assembly is damaged, we can do disk data recovery to recover the data from the disks. The common symptoms of hard drive disk assembly failure are the following. 1. Hard drive makes weird sound. 2. Spin nicely but no access to any computer. 3. Hard drive no spin. 4. The computer can detect the hard drive, but the files are not accessible. Overheat is a common hard drive problem. Cooling down a hard drive is always a good idea. We prefer to take the problem hard drive out from the enclosure or from the computer, and also let the PCB board facing the fan, because it is the PCB board who generates the heat to the hard drive. There are some simple ways to recover data from a hard drive. One of them is try to read the hard drive by different devices, like different external hard drive adapters, computers, or enclosures, because different devices use different way to read a hard drive. Sometimes this trick works. Another way is swapping the hardware PCB board. Swapping the hardware PCB board can fix the problem caused by the PCB board. There is a cost in swapping the PCB board, but it is way cheaper than sending the hard drive to a data recovery firm. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.